Welcome. Today I wanted to talk about the general purpose relay. Some people call it GP relay, but it's this brown relay here. It's made by Honeywell, and we see this in a lot of different places, and we can use this for a lot of different things. That's why people call it a general purpose relay. But before we actually get to that, I wanted to talk about a switch. If we look at this, for example, we see that this happens to be a switch. Single pull, single throw, and then single break because it breaks only in one spot. On another, in a different video, I'll talk about breaks and so on, but that's what this switch is right now. So now, when we move this down, we're going to have power going through here, and we can light whatever it may have on the other side. Let's say a light bulb, for example. So we can turn the light bulb on and off with this. Sometimes what you do is you see this right here, <laughs> right here, and it's going to be a switch that is what they call a double throw. Single pole, double throw. What happens now is that we flip the switch down and we can turn this light bulb on and off. We can also go ahead and turn another load on and off with this switch. So now this has power going to it, so we are running this coil. When we come down this way, we can turn this light on and de-energize that coil. So we can control two different loads. Now, another thing that we could do, it would be to put, let's say, a coil here. We can have this coil like that, and let's say that this coil just happens to be 24 volts. Now, we go ahead and we put 24 volts to this coil. What we're going to do is we're going to have this mechanically connected to this coil. The dashed lines, they mean that they're mechanically connected. So now when this coil is energized, it generates a magnetic field and it pulls this down. How is it going to pull it down? Very simple. You could have a little piece of iron right there. Iron is attracted to magnetic field. You energize this and it pulls this down. So that's one of the ways that this would work. Now, something else that we could do is we could go ahead and put another switch right here. So now we can turn this load, this light bulb, on and off right here with the switch. We can also have another connection here and we can turn another load on and off right there. It just depends on what we want to hook up on that side. Now as you can tell, the dashed line is going from the magnetic field to this one and then to that one. So what happens, you put power to this, you will turn this off and turn this one off and turn this one on and turn that one on. Now we can control the loads. Now, let's uh, take a look at it a different way. We know that when this is closed in the off position, we can say that this is normally closed like this. This one would also be normally closed right here, like that. This one here would be what they call normally open. This one would also be normally open like this. Now, these are the symbols for normally closed because power's off. This is the symbol for normally open, symbol for normally closed, symbol for normally open. When you put power to this, this is going to open, that one is going to close. This one is going to open, that one is going to close. So now let's take a look at it, like I said, a little different here, a little different way. So what we have is we're going to have a relay that's going to be like this. It's going to be like that. Now this relay, we're going to have a connection here. We're going to have a connection here. And we're going to have a connection here. Between here and here is going to be normally closed. 
between here and here is going to be normally open, just like on this one here. Now, we're also going to have a coil on this right here. This coil is going to sit down here on the bottom. And let's say, just like that one, this coil is 24 volts. Let's just say the coil is 24 volts here. Now, we're also going to have another connection on this here. And we have a connection here. We have a connection here. And we have a connection here between here and this connection here is going to be normally closed. Between here and here is going to be normally open, just like on this one here. So what happens now is that when we energize this coil, all of these will switch position. When we energize this coil, all of these will switch position. One thing that you need to know is that these are numbered. For example, this will be number one. This connection will be number two, and this connection will be number three. This one will be four, this one will be five, and this one will be six. If we compare this one to that one, this one is number one, where it's coming in, right here. Normally closed, that would be connection number two. Where's normally open, that will be connection number three. Number four right here would be this one. Normally closed, this would be five. And this one would be six right here. Connection number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just like on this relay, on this example, you put power to this, all of these switch positions. You put power to this, this one will open, that will close. This will open, this will close. In this example, the coil is 24 volts. They can be 110 volts. So it just depends, you have to check that. And we'll talk about all of that in a different video. But this is what they call a general purpose relay. This is the basic operation of it. This is how it works. Like I said, this is made by Honeywell, and we see this throughout the field. And I hope this helped. My name is Julio. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. And if you have any suggestions about other videos you would like to see, please send them to me, and I will see what I can do about getting the videos to you. All right, thank you.